Hello everyone, a very good morning to all. After a long series of problems on isometric projection, today we are going to start next chapter, chapter number 2, machine drawing. In machine drawing, basically we are going to cover all types of fasteners and fastening process. Let me tell you what is fastening or fastening process. The process, process of joining different parts of a machine or engineering products is called as fastening or fastening process. And what are fasteners? Fastener means machine parts which are used to connect two pieces together. There are two types of fasteners, temporary and permanent. Temporary or detachable fasteners, fasteners for which parts can be separated easily without breaking the fastening. So, if these two parts are machine parts of a joint, then for joining process, this will be the process of joining. After joint, after fastening process, if we want to remove this joint, it can be removed or it can be separated easily without breaking the fastening. Examples are nut, bolt or nut bolt pair, screw, screw and nut pair, stud and key. For permanent fasteners, parts cannot be separated without breaking the fastening. Examples are riveting, welding, soldering, brazing, etc. Next, screw thread. A continuous helical groove cut along the outer circumference of a cylindrical surface or cylinder is called a screw thread. As you can see, continuous helical groove cut along the outer circumference. A screw thread is an operating element of temporary fastening. Next, external threads. It is a continuous helical groove or ridge cut along the external surface of the cylinder. Example, bolt, stud, screw, etc. So, as you can see, these are external threads. Also in a bolt, these are external threads. Next internal thread, it is a thread on the internal surface of a hollow cylinder. So here these threads are internal threads on internal surface. Also for a nut, these are internal surfaces on a nut. So these are internal threads. Next screw pair. The bolt and nut together are called as a screw pair, a bolt and a nut. So this pair is also known as screw pair. Next, parallel and tapered thread. A thread formed on the surface of a cylinder is called as parallel or straight thread. So cylindrical surface or on a cylinder. And if thread is formed on the surface of a cone, it is called as tapered thread, cones or first term of cone. Next, right hand and left hand thread. If a nut, when turned in clockwise direction, screws on a bolt, the thread is a right hand thread or right handed thread. But if it is screws off the bolt, when turned in the same direction, the thread is said to be a left hand thread. Abbreviations. RH for right hand thread, LH for left hand thread. Now consider any nut and bolt, hold the bolt in your left hand and rotate the nut in clockwise direction by the right hand like this. Now if it screws on the bolt, the thread is a right handed thread and for clockwise rotation, if it screws off the bolt, then the same is left handed thread. Various parts of screw thread are shown here starting from crest, crest then flank, angle, angle of thread, root, axis, axis of screw, nominal dia, pitch, lead, slope, depth, outside dia and root or core dia. Now definition first is crest, it is the edge of the thread surface 
farthest from the axis in case of external thread and nearest to the axis in case of internal thread. So for external thread, farthest point, farthest from axis, these points are crests. These are crest points for external thread. And in case of internal thread, nearest, nearest, these points are nearest points. So nearer to axis, these points are crest points. Next, root. It is the edge of the thread surface nearest to the axis in case of external thread and farthest from the axis in case of internal thread. These are roots roots of external thread and for internal thread farthest point from the axis farthest point from the axis farthest point next flank the surface connecting crest and root so from crest to root root to crest surface these surfaces are flanks next thread angle it is the angle between flanks Measure in an axial plane. Angle between flanks. This is the angle. Angle between flank. Angle between flank. Measure in an axial plane. Axial plane means imaginary plane passing through central or solid axis. Next, depth. The depth is the distance between the crest and the root. Measured at right angles to the Axis. This is depth from crest to root, from crest to root or from root to crest, measured at right angle to the axis. So perpendicular to axis, perpendicular to axis means if you draw a line from axis perpendicular to axis like this, then distance from root to crest. This is the distance. Also, you can say that. Depth is equals to outside dia, outside dia minus root or co dia by two. So half of difference of outside dia and root of co dia. Next, nominal diameter. It is the diameter of the cylinder from which external threads are cut out. The screw or bolt is specified by this diameter. This is nominal diameter, diameter of cylinder or cylindrical piece from which this external thread or external threads are cut out. So this is the dia, dia of the piece, nominal diameter. Next, major diameter or outside diameter. It is a diameter of an imaginary cylinder touching the crest of external thread or the root of an internal thread. So for external thread from crest to crest diameter of an imaginary cylinder touching crests is major or outside dia and for internal thread touching roots of internal thread. Next minor root or co diameter. It is a diameter of an imaginary cylinder touching the roots of external thread or crest of an internal thread. So here from root to root, this diameter is root or co diameter and from crest to crest, outside or crest diameter. So from crest to crest is major outside or crest diameter and from root to root, root to root, root or core or minor diameter. Next pitch, it is the distance between corresponding points on the adjacent threads measured parallel to the axis. Distance between corresponding points. Corresponding point means from crest to crest or from root to root parallel to axis or you can also draw a line parallel to your axis from first flank or from a point on first flank to corresponding flank or corresponding thread. So all are same from crest to crest or from root to root or 
from this point to this point on corresponding threads this length parallel to axis is h next lead it is the distance moved by a nut or bolt in the axial direction in one complete rotation so for a nut and bolt combination distance moved by a nut in one complete rotation so from this position to the next position vertical distance or distance moved by this nut parallel to axis in one complete rotation now slope slope of thread is equals to half the lead next we have single start and multi start thread when only one helix forming the thread runs on a cylinder it is called as single start thread if more than one helix runs on a cylinder it is called as multi start thread now for single start thread we'll have only one helix or one helical curve on the outer surface of this cylinder so for single start single start means it will start from its circular base like this so it's a single start thread now what is pitch and what is lead pitch means it is the distance measured parallel to the axis between a point on one thread and corresponding point on the adjacent thread so from one point first point to second point on adjacent threads this is the distance pitch now what is lead lead means it is the distance measured parallel parallel to the axis from a point on a thread to the corresponding point on the same thread after one complete revolution so if we start from this point after one complete rotation this is the corresponding point distance is same so for single start pitch and lead both are same so lead equals to pitch for single start thread okay now for double start double start means first start and second start on the same plane this is first start and this is second start so for double start for double start first thread or first helical groove starts from this point this is the path this is the path and this is the height height means this height parallel to axis of the cylinder is lead but what is pitch pitch means distance between two consecutive threads so from first thread from first thread to second thread this is pitch and this is lead so for double start we can say that lead equals to 2 or double of pitch now for triple start thread we have three starts black red and blue starting from same circular plane now lead lead means from first point to the corresponding point on the same thread this is equals to 3 of pitch pitch means distance between any two crest or root so distance between two threads is pitch and this is lead so we can say that l equals to 3p for triple starts n equals to 4p for four starts and l equals to mp for n starts next form or profile of screw thread the section of a thread cut by a plane containing the axis is known as the form or profile of the screw thread so form or profile means cross sectional area of threaded part so if you cut this screw by a section plane passing through axis you will get these type of sectional areas and these threads are triangular in nature so it's a triangular thread so form means or profile means sectional area of a thread so this is all from my side on basics of screw thread please go through this video once again write all the definitions 
and if you have any doubt any problem in these definitions or in basics of screw thread please write your comments in the comment section thank you